What interests you in politics? Just the ability to make real change in the nation and the local governments, really. High school kids are getting into politics. In Arroyo Grande, the AP government class is hosting a forum for the two mayor's candidates at the Women's Club from 6 to 8 p.m. on Friday. We sat down with some of these high school kids to find out what they think of politics, where they get their information, and what questions they'd like to see asked of these candidates. Is there a question that Kind of top of mind for you? For Definitely the, the water, just because my dad has been involved in the agriculture business since he was my age, and so it, that's our family's based off of the agriculture, and so it's definitely taken a hit. His business has, he's a hay hauler. I, I feel like there isn't really much that they can do about this, but I have noticed since, like, even since I first started driving like a year and a half ago, that the traffic has gotten significantly worse in many parts of Royal Grande. Uh, whether they can do something about that, I'm not entirely sure, but I have noticed that. For me, I, I, I'm generally concerned with the propositions and measures that are being taken, specifically with the ones that are going to affect my sisters and brother growing up in education and whatnot. Being a senior, it's not going to really affect me. I'm concerned with the environment mm -hmm. as uh, a platform for the candidates to be asked about, uh, and then as well as just things like education for the Lucimar district. I would agree that like there are a lot of problems obviously that we have that can't really be solved by a like city government but kind of have to be solved by like multiple local governments working together. How do you gauge the veracity of this what a politician is saying? It really it's difficult honestly. Um, I would think probably the best way to do it especially in a setting like that would be to just have as much diversity in the group of people that are in the room as possible. So they can't like say one-sided things that'll make some people in the room happy and other people in the room boo. They kind of have to like have a just sort of be truthful with themselves and I think that's the best way to do it really. Politicians always kind of fudge things a little bit with like the group of people, but to, if they had, if like you said there's a diverse group, there's not really any room for that. I feel like the forum is going to be a lot less forceful and more democratic in the way that it's not going to be like the way we've seen the debates happen for the presidential election <laughs> where there's a lot of interruptions and I just chaos I feel like the forum is going to be a little bit I don't know yeah hopefully quieter. there will be more respect yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> who's going to reach your generation the best and what what platform are they going to use I mean signs obviously yeah. but other than that, probably something to do with social media. I watch a lot of YouTube videos and there's been ads like in yeah. front of all, like before all my videos of like certain candidates and honestly that's like a really good way to get yourself to the younger generation. Fox, CNN, MSNBC, um, let's see, BBC was also another one we looked at. Now do you really uh, watch all those? No, I'm not no, telling you lie, but I'm just no, saying I really do. People, I mean, but yeah. you're getting all that information. No, yeah, I really okay. do because <laughs> I, I, I used to just watch Fox, and that was it. And then I started taking government classes and getting involved, and I saw how important it was to get all of the different ideas and perspectives on it. So, well, what I, what I see uh, about the president presidential election right now is usually based off of social media, and most of social media tends to uh, make it humorous. Mm -hmm. So I actually think what like what's going on right now is actually pretty funny. Um, but like if you if you look at it from a more like a, one of these two uh, candidates is actually going to be running our country, it actually becomes less comical and more like, uh, uh oh, like, <laughs> this could be a problem.